I just remembered how much I loved Andy Garcia in The Untouchables. I had completely <laughs> forgotten he was in that movie. Yeah. And he was fucking great. He yeah. Was fucking everyone was great in that movie. Yeah. It holds up. The Untouchables holds up. I, I'm loath to say it, but I, I've never seen that movie. What? I know. I know. It's crazy. It's been I, I've, I literally bought it to watch it, and I just have not seen it. I think if you watch it for the first time now. Brian De Palma, right? Yes. Yeah. It yeah. might feel – you might go – Oh, it's one of these movies. But when it came out, it was a completely unique. That's kind of why I'm afraid to watch it because I, I, I just am afraid I'm not going to be able to appreciate it now as much as I would have appreciated it had I watched it 20 years ago or even 15 years ago. You know what I mean? Right. And then I'm just going to be like, well, eh. oh, it was so it was. It you was like it, you like Costner? Yeah, I do. That's him yeah. doing his. I thing. like all those people, and I like I like Andy Garcia. I love Sean Connery. He's in it, yeah. right? He yeah. is in it. Robert yeah. De Niro. De Niro's in it? Yeah. Come on, yeah. Well, he's a good guy. Check it out. I am yeah, uh, check it out. I, I like De Palma too, sometimes. Snake Eyes, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> he's had a couple of misses. He's, you yeah, know, he's, he's making a movie is hard. Yeah. yeah you know, like yeah, making yeah. five a year is even harder. It's a very difficult uh, <laughs> process. Although, let's give Brian De Palma a little bit of credit on Snake Eyes. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's got a birdman like wonner at the beginning of that movie. That goes on for like I don't even know, like maybe fifteen minutes. It's really? All shot. The whole beginning of that movie is shot as a wonder. Do you remember that? Yeah. It goes yeah, in we'll and around a boxing. Uh, oh, do we, we watch, watch it? it together? Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, and it's pretty astounding. I mean, there must have been cut points in there somewhere, but I mean, literally, I mean, you know, everybody is is tripping out over that Warner and Birdman because, and they should. It was it was incredible. But De Palma for such a bad movie did such an amazing. Amazing wonder at the beginning of Snake Eyes. It's worth seeing the, the first 15 minutes of that movie just to watch that. I almost think they could teach an entire class around Birdman and just the technical marveling that was – because I just I – just, when I was watching, I'm like, okay, that – definitely there was a bit of a dark spot there. That could have been the cut point. But it's still, you know. Well, it, look, if you can make the Avengers, I could, I could make anything look like it didn't cut. Right. Really, no. I mean, but, but it doesn't change the fact that you would still have to choreograph it in a way. It's, it, it doesn't matter if you cut; it's still shot as a wonder, and that's almost just as impressive to me as actually making it a wonder. It's like I almost don't even care. It's just the fact that you were able to choreograph one camera. To make it seem like the whole thing was just continuously well, we, shot. We did an episode like that this year. We yeah, did we did. One continuous shot that's how long? 13 minutes? It's long. It's like 13 uh, minutes long. Yeah, yeah. Minutes. And it was actually coming off the – Birdman hadn't come out yet. It was coming off the heels of that one from True Detective that everyone was talking about. Oh, that yeah. amazing one that's in that movie. Uh, and, and we had a story that felt like it supported that. Um, that type of storytelling, doing the one or thing, and so we just as a challenge, and you know, we ten seasons in, you're looking for ways to, you know, spice it up, spice it up, you know, <laughs> invite, spice up, invite, spice up a, the marriage, invite another lover into the bed, yeah, try, exactly. try some butt stuff, you know, <laughs> try butt stuff, yeah, yeah try a little yeah. butt. All stuff. right, time to try some butt stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the 13 minute. Butt stuff. <laughs> uh, your, have, have you ever thought? I, I mean, I, I think people would people their piece of people's faces would melt off with rage if you did that because people hate change, but. It, it, let's say you get to like, you know, you're like season 15 of the show. And you're like, you know, fuck it. And you just, something happens and a meteor lands in the city and then everyone gets superpowers and the show completely genre shifts. <laughs> Have you ever, do you, like when you're pitching ideas, do you, do you ever, just by getting to that point where you're like, you know, why, why not? It, well, I, I don't think we would ever want to do anything that would change the entire trajectory of this. I will say, though, if we decided – if we collectively decided that we were going to do like a South Park thing, just like kind of keep it going forever, The Simpsons or whatever, maybe we would do something like that. But <clears throat> what we do – what we will do is entertain the idea of – you know, it's just about finding the way in. But mm -hmm. like, you know, in season four, we did a whole episode that took place in the seven, in seventeen seventy six. Right. You know what I mean? But we, you got to figure out a way to sort of as our characters telling a story of something. That yeah. Happened. A meteor lands in the city, mm -hmm. and right. you all touch we could it. Do that for, we would probably do that for an episode. Yeah. I mean, we've done we've yeah. done a couple of horror, actually one intense horror episode, mm -hmm. but it's still a comedy. It's it's still like bending the genre, but not really. It's still a comedy. Yeah. Yeah. It's always um, sunny in Krypton. Like you just, it's like mm, a pre Krypton mm -hmm. destruction. Um, everyone, just kind of a one. Yeah, I mean, I think what so we could you get have, away with you, it. you don't have enough superhero movies in the fucking. <laughs> you got to You have you no, have to have it in no. TV. So you are you do have the freedom within an episode. To, it's like you said, you just have to find whatever mechanism that justifies. Why. Well, look, I think at this point. I think if all of us got really turned on at the idea of doing a really out there episode like what you're talking about, like the whole – it's just – we're like 
I think we, I don't think we would have any qualms about if the three of us were really passionate, we'd be like, let's do an entire episode as if the show took place on Krypton. Right. And we all really wanted to do it. I think we'd be like, oh, fuck it. I don't care. Right. Let's just do it and yeah. not even explain it. And let's just do it. Because yeah. your audience understands like right. sometimes they're going to do stuff in their Yeah. Like we did, we did a, a sequence in which we, we push into Charlie's head and into what, like what he's thinking and he thinks in cartoons. So it's a whole episode of us animated. But even that's more grounded than, than, than the, the idea of just being like, we're going to do an epi- entire episode as if this was a bar on the planet Krypton. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm warming to this idea. The more I think about it, I'm like, you know, the more we scramble for new ideas, the more I'm like, yeah, fuck it, let's just do it. You know, I, I would not be against doing something like that, not explaining it, and then the next week you're just back at Patty's on Earth, and it, who cares? Just like no, someone's it, wearing a dirty T-shirt, but it's like that that kind of reflective black with like a silver, like a that weird with like the weird. Well, symbol. yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> like the yes. letters, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just everyone with just pointed shoulders, you know, like. Uh, Old, like That's the just 60s. the laziest set dressing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like really as long bad. as you dress the space patties. As long as, long as you dress DeVito up as Zod. I think yeah. 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 I definitely like the idea of everything being space. So yeah. It's like, it's like would you like another space? space? Yeah. Yeah. We're just in Sorry. space. You could just call it. Well, you don't have to. Well, you're going to hit the space head. Typical Earth. You're going to hit the space head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I don't need 20 you space bugs, that, please. Yeah. <laughs> space bugs? Why are they space bugs? <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck it. You know, why not? I, I think we've earned that right. You know, I don't know if we'll do it, but I think we've earned that right. I'm not, a, I'm not against it. 